Hi there, seeing that last guy, that last Garant playing made me want to play some more Garant. So that's exactly what I'm going to do this time. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to get in the game. Uh, I think recently, er, oh, this is not bad. Um, usually, I think I have three Dark Assassins in my deck. But, this time I happen to have an additional Dark Assassin. I think. Um, I think I'm just going to draw a card this time so that I can more efficiently use my resources. We have a Sanctuary, so this is going to be rather difficult. Okay, yeah, Stalker. Very, very, um... I wish I had a couple, is what I'm saying. Um, deal two. Okay, so what I'm probably going to end up doing is playing the Dark Assassin, and then teleporting the Dark Assassin up to kill the Stalker if I can. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Increase the old might, play this, and turn. Next time we will increase the magic, teleport up there if I can. He has um, Mana Storm, so if he pops two of those at once, that will put this teleport up to five resources. Or four resources, that is, and I won't be able to play it. That would be a serious issue, but now I can't even, att I can't even kill it anyway. Oh, that's, that is a big, that's a huge combo. That's going to be dangerous. That thing needs to die hard. How am I going to do that? I can teleport up there, attack, and fireball it afterward. Mm. Always making it real difficult on me. <clears throat> or I could play this, and then get the last raider up there and make him randomly discard one of those cards he drew. That wouldn't be so bad, and then afterward I could pow him. Mm hmm. Well, it could be worse. Yeah, I think I'll just do that. It's not the most efficient use of resources, unless right now I also draw, which wouldn't be too bad, but it wouldn't be too great either. What kind of magic does he have? Water. Okay, at least it isn't wind. Well,. I think I might want to give the draw, uh, give the draw a go. Not bad. Got something to back up the Dark Assassin, if nothing else. Okay, so I'll have four resources. I can get out the teleport, use it, and that will leave me with potentially two or one resource. Um. You know, it's not even worth planning because the math can change very quickly at the moment. And this, this combo is painful. Excellent. Now I can play a bunch of crap. Okay. So I'm going to have to get rid of this Dark Assassin. So what I'm going to do... Mm, I could shoot it down. There, there are a number of ways I could do it. I can teleport this guy in here, kill those off in one shot. Or I can teleport him up here, kill off that, and then kill that off. Hmm. I think I'd like to kill that Dark Assassin in one go and save this fireball for something else, like another Dark Assassin. So what I'll do is magic up and teleport this guy over here, deal the damage that I need to be dealing, and I can then attack with this. And do I want to just rush him down? I could do. Or I could play another one of these. Hmm. With two resources, I should probably back up this Dark Assassin. End end. And that might, in the end, either cause two creatures to be killed at once, or it'll let me get in the additional damage I need to kill off some of the higher health creatures like Kappas that he throws in front of me. Next turn I'll have five resources, so I'll be able to play uh, perhaps a Void Wraith to block off his... No, I wouldn't be able to because it would die instantly. It only has one HP. Hmm. Well, I'll be able to do four, five, six, seven, eight, nine damage potentially if he doesn't block. 
plus this. Eventually that would be 10, 11, 12 damage. But he outmaneuvered me. I should have really saw that coming. But it's cool because I can play a Juggernaut. However, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I might not survive next turn if I try to do that. Hmm. That does pose a problem. Well, I could might up and place this instead. I mean, this... I need the damage, but I also need to block. So I can might up, place this here, and then perhaps I can deny a bit of space by putting this right here. That way, if he places something in front, I can take out, or at least damage multiple uh, creatures at once. If you place something right in the middle here, I'll be able to do significant damage because it'll mean I can kill off his uh, stalker rather easily. I want one of these. I actually tried making a sanctuary deck, but I was lacking stalkers, and because the deck was highly creature focused, it was a big problem. Because they're kind of important now. Now that they're in the game, I kind of need them to make a creature focused deck a kind of work. Okay, so what can I do here? Next turn, six resources. I got a Jugs, I got a Void Wraith. I don't have space to place the Void Wraith, however, so meh. Next turn, he will kill me if I don't block heavily, or let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can kill him if he doesn't double, or if he doesn't block me. He's dead. He has one resource, so. Oh, no, no, he had two. Uh, because of that gold pile, that was good. He really needed that badly. Is there anything I can do to get rid of it? Oh wait, I can... I can kill this off. Let's see here, what do we got there? Hero draw card. Gotta think. Gotta think. I can pow, I can do that, wouldn't help. Okay. I can kill this off. Summon the pow. Doing that would require one, two, three, four. Right. And this thing, okay, good. So I can do this. I can kill that off. I can summon the POW. I can power it up. And do all the damage I need. Exactly. Pretty good game, really. Very close. But I like it. And it's kind of rare, actually, that I get some victories like that against Sanctuaries because they are the bane of my existence. But then again, usually I don't see that hero in particular. Pretty good. Not bad. And I'll see you next time.